the tide turns. The mighty shark stucks his prey. Now we strike to the briny deep. I'll show them a watery grave. Come on, let's go! Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna show you how to play Fist today. AP Assassin, and it is a champion that has been strong um, almost every single patch so far. Like, he has always been at the top tier in solo queue. But still very underrated because people... Um, I almost never see this champion despite him being so good. First passive gives him permanent ghosting, which is of course nice because then you cannot get body blocked. And the other part makes you take less damage. And then the E here um, is his main mobility and it's also his wave clear as you can see. So if you use it once, um, when you drop down, um, there's like a massive hitbox on it. Um, that's going to slow people and also deal AoE damage. But if you like double click that E guys, then he's gonna drop down a lot faster, but you don't get the slow and the hitbox is also really um, small. And this ability can be used to like dodge stuff because you become untargetable. So you can dodge tower shots, but you can also hop over walls, which is nice. And then we have the W, which is an auto tag reset. Um, well, that's really crucial to dodge that one. Otherwise I would have taken an electrocute to the face. But it's an auto tag reset. And if you last it with it, like I'm doing right now, then this ability is going to reset and you also get some mana back. But if you use it without lasting something, then your auto attacks become empowered. So they deal like bleed damage over time. But it's very good for farming, especially under the tower, because it's an uh, auto attack reset. So you can like get the damage off really fast as well. Oh, I don't have level three. Okay, that's fine. If he waited like for my level three, then that would have been a kill. But now we got the Q up as well. So it's like a, another movement ability. Um, these two abilities really makes Fizz a very slippery champion, but it's like a single target dash and it's a fixed distance similar to how Yasu's dash works. Um, if you stand closer to the target, um, you're gonna dash further and if you dash from them while they're at a distance, then the dash won't be that um, extra. Nice, got the kill. So the thing is guys, when you get level 3 on Fizz, um, what makes him really OP is the fact that it is one of the few champions who can like trade with the opponent under their own tower and then get out without taking any damage. And that's because of how his E works. So it's gonna uh, reset the tower, act restful, and even if there's a tower shot coming up, it's not gonna matter because like when you use the E, then you're gonna like dodge it. Um, so what you want to do is that when you show the opponent under the tower, you're gonna Q them, then auto attack, then immediately reset with a W to proc electrocute, and then use the E to get out. This is how you want to play Fizz, and this is how Hylos, um, like me, play him in the highest ranks as well. Um, if you can master this way of um, harassing people under their own tower, this is how you um, start picking those um, kills up, like soul kills. Just stuck on the tower for a bit. I think it should be fine because top lane is at his side of the lane and bot lane recalls, so there's nowhere that Kiana can roam at the moment. Just farming for now. You can use the W if you don't have enough damage with the auto attacks. Oh, and your Q also procs some um, on hit. Also, another thing. Um, also, what makes Sheen a really good item on Fizz because of his W and his Q as well. So she has the grass um, element, which is of course smart because like it's hard to trade back with them. It's like a skill matchup, which is really fun to play. Um, but yeah, uh, the thing is like when you get your ultimate up, um, one thing a lot of people don't notice is the fact that your ultimate gives you true sight. So if Kiana is hiding with her invisibility inside that um, the grass element, it's gonna reveal her. Same thing for Akali in her shroud as well. So that um, ultimate is actually absolutely insane. For your all-in potential, but also to make sure that you get the kills. This is how you want to poke, and then I eat out, that's gonna cancel out the tower shot. Or the aggro. So now we got the ultimate up, so it's like a skill shot. Um, that the damage, and like the zone, scales with the range. So the further you throw it, the more damage it's going to deal. And then like after short delay, a shark is going to appear, knocking them up. So, uh, and this gives you true sight, remember? 
So if anyone is invisible, it's going to reveal them. That is very, very important to know when you play against something like an Akali. Oh, yo, yo, that was... That was really bad. My bad. Ouch. That was a really poorly aimed ultimate, but I think Bori got this. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Don't overcommit, though. Just survive. Nice. Well done, well done. You can just use your E back to lane, but keep in mind it costs 100 mana, so you don't want to do this early on in the game, but when you get um, lost chapter, then it's fine. And your E, guys, that is your main wave clear, as I said. And um, at level 9, if you're not behind, um, then it's gonna one shot the backline minions. So that's why your wave clear becomes much better. But Fizz is a champion that's very, very good at tower diving. Um, not only mid lane, but of course also top and bot lane, um, because he can reset the tower aggro with a C. Um, so you can be the one engaging, and that's something you have to look for very often. Especially if you're not able to find kills in the mid lane, or if the bot laners are snowballing. Okay, Warwick is doing great. I can focus on pushing this out for now. I don't have the ultimate up, Kiana does have, so we need to respect that. There's a Svein top lane. Um, he's pretty tanky too. Oh no. If he can survive, maybe I can make it ultimate. Oh, he doesn't have it up. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. He's done so. Is this warded? Yeah, looks like it is. And that's how you want to use the ultimate. One super super important thing that I have not mentioned yet with how your ultimate works is that inside your Q animation you can use your W and your ultimate. This is especially important with the ultimate because like you can cancel out the animation of your ult. So it's like a lot harder for the opponent to see when you're using it. So that's super super important. Um, so keep that in mind and the way you do this is like you Q through something and then you throw out your ultimate at the same time. By doing that, it becomes extremely hard to see you using that ultimate and they will barely have any time to react to it. Compared to if you just use it normally, then they can see that animation coming in and then most of the time they will dodge it. I'm just gonna go ahead and reset. I Hopefully they back off all the way so I don't get punished for resetting right now. I'm gonna get the tier 2 boots. We want to be roaming a lot on Fizz. Assassins, they do, the, do this all the time. Um, they find kills in the mid lane and then they also roam a lot. Especially someone who's very good at tower diving like the Fizz. If you see your bot lane shoving the enemy bot lane under their own tower, then you can go and straight up dive them. This is what here for sure. Oh no. Okay, I'm not going for it. But the flash is out, that's fine. Also, um, your E, like both parts of your E can be used to, uh, to jump our walls with. Not only the first or second part, but both of them, okay? So that's also something you should know about. But you have to be really close to the wall in, in order to do that. So I can show it right here. First part and second part. Both parts works. I might actually, hopefully I don't die here. Because <laughs> I had to show it. But remember to, when you want to wake clear, and when you want to like engage and stuff, make sure that you use the second, or like, don't double click that E. The top lane is going to be a problem, it's Swain. And he's very hard to shut down for Fizz when he gets his Sonya Sourglass. Which is a counter item to Fizz because like your ultimate gets blocked out with it. So without the ultimate, then Fizz doesn't really have that much kill pressure. Oh, he still had his ultimate up. Come on, guys. That does not look... Okay, that was fine. That um, 
somehow worked out. We'll take it, we'll take it. Ignite is almost up. When you have your ultimate up, then you have to look for kills. Um, I'd like go for a short trade where you proc and execute, and then you can all in afterwards. The basic all-in combo, you can see, if you use the ultimate in close range, then the damage is not going to be that great. But that's something you want to do if you can kill the opponent anyways, because then you just want it for the CC. Which is also fine, but if you want maximum damage, then throw it from long range. But that also makes it harder to hit. And that was the E flash I did early on to secure the kill. Um, that's also something you can do um, if the opponent is mobile or if they have flash up, because then they will definitely be trying to flash out your E. And then you can do this to like still follow up and still get the kill. Bro, that uh, range on that Swain W is pretty nice. The new rework Swain is so fun to play. But the flash is down on the Kiana. Need a bit more gold. We need a bit more gold for the uh, Ludens Tempest and that's gonna be showtime. Fizz spikes really hard when he gets the uh, Mythic item and also Sonya's. Get her, get her, I'm coming in. She might jump over here. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, can we get the Kha'Zix? Oh, he's not coming. So if I walk this way without the uh, Warwick coming in, I would just die. I'm gonna be ready to E here. Okay, he's not doing it. We can see E easily one-shots the wave. Backline minions. Um. Okay, good dodge, good dodge. It easily one-shots the backline minions as long as you're not behind, so... At level 9, if you shopped and bought the items at level 9 and you come back to lane, use one E and it's gonna clear out the backline minions. You don't have to be ahead to do that. You just have to not be behind. So following the damage curve. Sitting on a ton of gold, so I'm just gonna peace out. Ludus Tempest, a massive massive power spike on Fizz, a lot of free magic pen. Mid lane is missing. Good thing our top lane has the anti healing. I feel like almost every single game I have to tell my teammates to buy it, but it's fine this time around. I'm just gonna move straight up. I think I have to. Yeah, oh, that's a classics. Okay. I'm gonna give them some vision around here. Don't want this guy to sneak the um. He should be dead. Nice. And this champion is extremely mobile, guys. Like, it's a slippery champion like um, Echo. It's like really, really hard to like escape from, and also really hard to chase him. Oh, Kiana has the Prolos. Need to respect that. And that's a support mid lane. Okay. If the uh, Leona goes in on the Kiana, then we can kill him. Should be no roll. Oh. Oh, that's a nice one. Ah, well played. That's a nice ultimate. You get the uh, cannon minion as the reward. With the support item passer, I'm just gonna go ahead and reset. So I'm ahead, right? So I'm gonna buy the Medas, but normally, um, so you have the Mythic item, which is a core component, and then the next super important item on Fizz is the Sonya's Hourglass, because it's gonna enable his aggressive and defensive play. Um, he wants to dive a lot, so you have your E to like reset the tower aggro, and incoming uh, damage skill shot, but then you also have the Sonya's Hourglass. Come on, guys, move. Might be worth it. Oh, that was really bad ultimate. Was this for it? Yeah, I think. Yeah, it is. Oh, rip bot lane. They are really struggling a lot too. So our goal here is to take down the um, Jinx. Um, okay, Kiana. I just had to get out because that's a. Kha'Zix with Dustblade and another Lethal the Atom. Get him. 
Oh, that's a really well-timed one. I'm not gonna flash for this guy. We can go for the Jinx afterwards, because my ultimate is almost up. Let's go for the Jinx. Oh, I might actually die. Oh, we got the kill. That's fine. That's fine. It's like my ultimate was almost up. If that was up, that was that would have been uh, awesome. But then again, I actually died because I did not get the Sega Sangrat. I got the Meta instead. Well, sucks a bit that he had his flash up. Otherwise, that would have been an easy double. But you want to be flanking always on assassins, unless somebody's obviously overextended. Um, because that's like easier way for you to access the AD carry. Um, if we take down the Jinx, then the game should be pretty free. But then again, they have a fit top laner. Like, Bane is winning really hard and he skills a lot better too. And they also have the Karsix. Like, we had to worry about because he won't shield us. But after Sonya's, it should be okay. I can alter. You can like do the Q ult. But I need to make sure that Thresh does not you know lands on Wait what? I thought he was going to ult the Thresh but <laughs> and drop down the Herald, okay. So we are sieging, that's actually fine. It could be turn out to be good. They just need to ult the Jinx. I think I hit him. Nice. Leona got the kill, unfortunately, but it's okay. We got a kill and we got a tower, so we'll take it. Now they just need to chill out while I'm going bot lane. And securing another tower, hopefully. Wow, that's say a lot of action. But this happens all the time in lower MMRs. Not only lower MMRs, but also in high elo, so... You can't really control your teammates, that's just how it goes. Sometimes they're gonna win it, sometimes they just run it down. But it's kinda up to you to like predict it. Like if you think they're about to force a fight they should not be doing, then just be there in advance. Ultimate almost up. Um, it has a pretty low cooldown and of course we will be getting a lot more um, build haste. Through the items so it's gonna be on an even lower cooldown right now it's only a minute we get him awesome really good w by the gin too just split push a bit here you don't want to be split pushing all game main reason you do this is to like force the um enemy mid laner to combat and then you can find kills that way but also to like make sure you don't fall too far behind CS wise because Fizz is not a, ch a champion that you like him a farm with all game. Yeah, I don't have Ignite up, so I'm not gonna go for it. That's fine. Because I don't want to trade kills. I don't want to give Jinx any more kills. I need to stay alive too. I'm just ping. I need this. Um, I'm just gonna back off because I can get the Sonyas. Because this is a super super important item. Um, so now this is a big pass bike. We have got two main items and boots too. Now is when you just go completely ham like 1 versus 3 and try to take down the AD carry and then you use your Sonyas hourglass to like buy yourself time and hopefully your teammates will catch up but it's also gonna help you like Buy yourself time for that E to come back up. We don't have the top laner with us. I might actually die here. I can't. Oh wow. I could not even E. I think that's a really late CP though. Okay, good thing that did not hit. But yeah, that was a really super late TP coming in. 
If you came in earlier, then we could have fought it. I will, it was also a bad spot for me to engage with because you want to be flanking. You don't want to go in from the front because then you can't really look for the place. This is okay, they got the Drake, so I'm satisfied. Leona has to defend. Just don't engage and yeah. No, okay, nice. And they got the Thresh. It is awesome. Next item, another core component, is the Lich Bane. Um, which also synergizes very well with your kit because like your Q and your W procs um, on hit. So you maximize the DPS you get from the Sheen passive. Also gives you mobility, ability haste and damage and so on. So super strong item on AP Assassins. Mostly Echo and Fisto. I'm gonna keep sp uh, split pushing for a little bit. One more wave and then I'll probably reset. Looks like I had to move. Okay, they got this, so I don't have to. Hopefully Jinx is not... Okay, they're gonna... Oh, they die. Oh, no. Oh, that's a nice ultimate. I'm gonna... I have to be there. You have to get the Jinx. Oh no, that's a wave. Nice. And they're gonna die too. Well played by Dinar. There we go. Flanking, flanking, flanking. All the time on AP Assassins. Only the Kha'Zix is alive and I have the Sonya's up. Oh, he has stage of mind. That's actually a bit annoying for Fizz. It's okay, we got the tower so we can peace out. They're buying armor, which is great for me. Um, I don't mind them stacking a lot of armor because then we just deal that much more damage. But let's go ahead and build towards the uh, Lich Bane. Come on, let's go. So this item, of course, is great, but I don't, really don't like to buy the component. Because like, you get lots of AP by buying these two items instead of this one. Um, this also helps with the way clear. You also get ability haste and stuff and mobility. So I prefer to get this over the Shin on every single champion. Also the Echo for when I go for um, uh, Lich Bane. Things might be walking up here. So I'm going to pop the uh, Red Sweeper just to... Um... Get some vision down. I had to flash out. Oh, we don't have people with us, that's my bad. I'm scared of the Kha'Zix though, like he's gonna one-shot me. But wow, this Leona is so tanky. Wow, okay. We can go for Baron. Uh, did he just try to kill force over the wall? Did he actually try to do that? Okay, I mean, we're winning the fight, so it's all cool. But AD carries are most of the time pretty easy to predict what they're going to do. Especially if there's like a big wave, then it's almost a guarantee that they're gonna pop out. Um, Warwick, Rekill. He has a Sonya, so I should not be ulting him. Yeah, that's a count item. Um, or a Fizz when they buy the Sonyas. And Warwick soloing the uh, Baron? Question mark. Take this one. It's a bit late trying to do it though. Like we should have done it after we got the car six. But okay. Please don't car six. Please don't do it. Nice. Okay. You're gonna reset for the Drake. And then we just do the same thing over and over again. I try to flank around and wait for the Jinx to pop up. If I tackle with the ultimate, like you cannot cleanse the ultimate, right? So he has no counterplay against it. If I tackle with the ultimate, she's dead, guaranteed. So I'm gonna go the way around here. I don't want to be next to my teammates because I 
Then they see me coming. So you have to like surprise people when you play assassins. Ah, oh, sucks. Was this worth it? I tried to aim for the Jinx. But it's low cooldown, so you can afford to spam it. Um, or miss it a couple times, I mean. We have the Baron, so it's not that big of a loss. Just waiting for that ultimate to come back up again. Luckily, we do have anti-healing on the uh, top laner, so we don't have to worry about the Swain. For now, that is. Take the tower. Nice. Thank god the Jinx is not pushing it down mid. And she flashed into the Jinx too, so she also got hit. Your ultimate gives you true sight, remember. So Kiana or any champion that's invisible is going to be revealed when you take them with the ultimate. That's the way you counterplay a Kali, because normally it's a very bad matchup for Fizz, but like, while they attack, then they will be revealed. I'm not gonna face tank that damage from his ult. I'm gonna go for the Kha'Zix. He has the Sonyas too. Did he use it? And there we go. Can we go ahead and end it? Jinx is spawning soon, so... Okay, let's see him. Let's show it. My ultimate is up soon. I'm gonna try to attack the squishy targets, so the Kiana. What oh, the Jinx? Luckily survived, thanks to the armor we got from the uh, Sonyas. So now wrap them stuff cap or voice stuff if they're buying magic resistance. I probably will not get to buy the death cap this game, so I'm just gonna buy the um, elixir. With a large rod, and that should be enough. An ally has been slain. But we have to push it down mid. Okay. GG minions, then we can go top. Nothing left for us to take mid and bot lane, so no reason to go there anymore. Unless we can straight up end the game from them. So Jinx might be walking up here for this big wave, so maybe we can get a flank off. Thresh is coming. Oh, she saw us because of the Thresh. But you see, they're pretty easy to predict. Like, if there's a big wave, then there's a high chance the AD carry is going to be them. The Flash might be up too. Bad ult. Okay. Might be able to kill her. Actually, I could kill her, but if she had the Flash and the Gale Force up, then I might end up dying. Okay, we saw Karsex recalling. Easy peasy. The power of AP assassins. You can go ahead and end here. Let's go ahead and end. Are we not gonna end? So yeah. If you have really good reaction time with your E, it's gonna help you out a lot. Where's the Kha'Zix? He's definitely going for me. But did he give up? Oh, he's AFK. But that was how to play Fist, guys. I hope this was helpful. As always, thanks for watching and see y'all next time.